Hi guys and girls, Rose Burnett here from Mind Body Soul Balance and uh, if you're on my YouTube channel, hi. I'm uh, out here at the beach, have a look. Um, and I wanted to talk to you today about, about exes because often on my YouTube channel like somebody will be watching, uh, if you don't know, I'm a certified transformational coach and NLP practitioner but I'm also uh, an advanced Reiki practitioner as well as I do tarot readings. I've got about 20 plus years in business, yeah. Yes, I often walk along and I think about, well, what can I share with you? And uh, you know, there's been a few few things that have come up on my YouTube channel that I thought, you know what, I really need to share a message about that because of uh, comments that are made or reactions that happen. And um, I guess it kind of spurred up because uh, for my tarot readings, which I love doing by the way, but they're uh, kind of a mix of inspirational as well as uh, transformational coaching, yeah. And uh, sometimes people come along and watch the uh, the tarot readings for their exes. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. But then uh, there's some comments that come up that uh, clearly show that people are stuck in a state of the past, yeah, of our exes and relationships that have gone. And uh, I guess I wanted to share some uh, some sage advice with you and uh, from a transformational coaching perspective, right? So, um, you know, we've all gone through relationship breakdowns at some point. If you haven't, then you've never been in a relationship, right? So uh, I am speaking to those that have been in relationships that are struggling with letting go of their exes. Um, you know, it can create a deep level of hurt and heartbreak when uh, relationships break down, and that goes for both men and women. Um, both sides of the coin and I have to say to you guys you know and the girls like be totally recognized that uh, the guys whilst guys might not show it right they feel it deeply just as deeply yeah um, so it goes for both sexes but uh, I guess what I want to say to you is that uh, if you're recycling through the past there is a timeline right I'm gonna to say to you I think that there's a timeline I was walking along the other day like in a place that was really high up on the cliffs and I was thinking so what is the timeline really in terms of letting go of exes emotionally and I think it, particularly if you've had a, mar a long marriage and a, a breakdown from that I think two years is a pretty good limit right for you to get your stuff together and to get over it um, and uh, you know I had somebody that made a comment that the and if, if you, this is you and you're listening, well, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> we're just going to talk about life experiences here. Um, that were still were very negative and still very stuck in emotions about a relationship that had ended like 12 years ago. And I, I just thought about it. And for me, it was like, well, how are you really stuck? You're really stuck, yeah. How do you become unstuck in those situations? Well, one, recognize that you're actually living in the past, yeah. There's nothing you can do about the past. It's gone. You've got this moment here. Yes, you can forward plan and forward think about the future in terms of your goals and your aspirations and what you really want and not only in life but a love relationship but you've actually only got the now that you're living in yeah so it's about it's about coming back and pulling yourself up when you have those thoughts where you're recycling and you can recycle through all sorts of emotions because you control yourself and your emotions on a daily basis and you actively choose what you allow to come into you or um into your mind so things can pop up but is it you know if it's really old stuff do you want to keep recycling through it you've got to ask yourself that um, is it doing you any good? Unlikely. Yeah, unlikely. It's probably just bringing you to a state of an emotion that you really don't want to sit in and dwell in. Yeah. Um, if you're going through a new relationship breakdown or uh, with exes, then uh, in terms of a message, it's about allowing those feelings to come up, the hurt, the sadness, the anger, um, the frustration, the resentment. Allow it to come up and you've got to get it out of your system as fast as you possibly can. Yeah, as fast as you possibly can. So one of the strategies in a new relationship, you know, when you're out of a new relationship, um, in terms of, I mean, like recently exed, um, one, it's not a great place to be. It can be very deeply hopeful, right? But it's about releasing those emotions. You can take some time each day if you're really struggling to just have a cry, have a good cry, let it out, and then go, right, I'm on with the rest of my day. And sometimes you can have overwhelming moments where things just pop up for you. I know for me, it used to, like, oh, God, I can remember an instance when I was driving home. And um, this was, this was uh, you know, a couple of years ago when I went through a marriage breakdown. And uh, it was, I think I was probably, at about the six month point but it was still very raw and I can just remember sitting at the lights thinking oh my god I'm actually I'm actually having like gotten real teary and it was just a moment but it was about okay well let's not push those down because I was always somebody who was great at pushing feelings down and not allowing them out and we can do lots of tactics to distract ourselves with the you know unhealthy practices to distract yourself from emotions as well um, but it was in that moment it was like wow I'm having a moment but I'm gonna 
feel it and then release it yeah and you've got to constantly do that but if you're somebody that's stuck on a relationship that's well past and they've moved on and you haven't moved on um, that's a conscious choice you're making on a daily basis to be stuck there um, and uh, you're stuck in a victim mode as well so and don't do that I'm gonna say don't do that I have absolutely no empathy for people that get stuck in victim mode because you're making a conscious choice to uh, to do that and there's certain behaviors that go around around with that and that is making everybody else around you make you know treat you like a victim as well um, it's totally unhealthy I'm gonna say to you say that to you I'm a transformational coach I'm not gonna baby you right I'm gonna say if that is you you're making a conscious choice to stay there and be stuck so what happens when you're stuck in that state um, you don't allow new love relationships in um, people can feel those vibes right particularly if you're trying to attract a new love relationship in those vibes are going to be straight out there because as much as the communication comes out of your mouth most people will pick up on um, body language and all the non-verbal cues about what's going on with the person right so it's not going to be attractive yeah so if you want a new love relationship and you want a different type of love relationship and you totally deserve it absolutely every person does yeah but you got to consciously choose what that next relationship looks like and how to get yourself into a state of positivity and to heal from the past let go and release exes one of the things we do in Reiki um, if you've watched any of my other videos and often I'll explain this in tarot as well is that um, it's about releasing the negative energy of the past and often what we do is we just do it like a cross I can't do it because I'm holding my phone up right but both arms like you think of that person you've got your chakras right so um, if you want to learn about chakras we've got seven chakras in our body which is all about our energy our energy meridians within our body also our connected connectedness to our own mind body spirit yeah as well as the universe and the divine um, and the higher that you work up your chakras the more you're going to change your vibration and your positivity in life and often when you're stuck in this kind of state of mind in terms of the past you're in the lower chakras yeah you haven't you haven't come up the higher chakras but uh, you can get negative energies attached themselves to you um, and a lot of it you know it can be it can also be a mental and a spiritual kind of practice but it's about cutting those cords just in terms of your own mindset to release yourself from them so in terms of your heart chakra which is around here yeah uh, if you think about that person that you want to release or the energy that you want to release you think about that person and you physically with your arms two arms across them right like that um, across your body and also behind because you've got your ego behind you and it just just mentally picture cutting the cords that are attached to you from that past relationship from that person yeah, to free yourself up you can do that as many times as you like over you know a period of time there's no limit on that as much as you need uh, one of the other things that you can do is to regularly go and balance and ground yourself self-nurturing self-care activities I'm out here in this beautiful place right this is where I release my stresses I find somewhere gorgeous to go for a walk um, cost you nothing right so even if you've got no money you can do this yeah there's no reason why you can't find the most amazing place that you can go to because as humans we're so connected to nature and spirit and animals yeah and it's about coming back to that place of pure joy and just allowing yourself to be and it's a great place to release your stresses release the uh, past hurt um, you can recycle through all sorts of feelings but you've got to be consciously aware that you're doing it and pull yourself up um, one of the other things you can do if you've got constantly negative thought patterns going through your mind and things are popping up, popping up and you're going, oh my God, I'm constantly having that thought, how do I stop it, right? Well, you can do some affirmations. One of the ones that um, I totally love, you probably heard me say it before, but um, whether you're worrying about love, romance, finances, your money, not having enough money, whatever it is, yeah, I know we've gone slightly off track, but affirmations can interrupt your thought patterns yeah so one of the ones from Louise Hay who bless his soul was just amazing on this planet and left such a legacy but uh, she's passed now but one of hers is uh, I am totally worthy of all the good things in life and I lovingly accept them now I'm totally worthy of all the good things in life and I lovingly accept them now so when you're stuck in that thought pattern you keep saying that until those thoughts pass and you're calmer yeah it'll bring you such inner peace you can do that as much as you like yeah you'll find the more you do it the less you need to do it because you've totally changed your mindset um, and your thought patterns so 
I guess what I want to say to you is if you're stuck in the uh, if you're stuck in the X frame of mind you haven't let go of them I guarantee you they've moved on they've moved on as hard as that may be for you to accept they've moved on that relationship wasn't meant to be um, whatever reason it's out of your life for a good reason probably right um, is to allow something better in and you need and I guess what I can say to you is to focus on that to focus on that there is something better out there for you um, and if you want a better relationship, you need to work on yourself. You need to be responsible for self. Um, because we all consciously choose our love partners. Um, we, we consciously choose who we allow into our life. We consciously choose how we showed up in relationships. As much as you want to blame someone else, we all have a part in it. It's a 50-50, yeah? We're all responsible for it. You don't have to accept the behaviours of others and sometimes there's some bloody awful things that people do to each other and, um, you know, that's totally unkind and unfair. You're not responsible for their behaviour at all, so don't ever put that on yourself. Okay. I'm going to say to you, you deserve a great love relationship. You need to work on yourself if you're stuck in the past. To lift yourself out of it and you can do it. You absolutely can do it. There's loads more videos on my, uh, on my YouTube channel to help you out. There's also um, a, a four-part series on how to attract a soulmate, right? Um, it literally goes through all, a lot of this stuff in terms of um, how to let go of the past, how to set healthy boundaries in relationships. Often weak boundaries trip us up all the time in relationships. Um, if you haven't had great examples from your family or from childhood through, um, it can be things that you're subconsciously doing that you're not even aware of, yeah? And there's, uh, there's lots in there about self-care, self-love. So I'll put the link on this video. could help you out. I'll put it in the description box below. And for now, just be gentle with yourself. Be kind. Be patient. Recognize when you're feeling negative or stuck in, in past thinking. Do the affirmation. Yeah, do the affirmation. Um, and yeah, check out some of my other videos. I hope it helped. You have a great day. All right. Much love. Bye.